Well, heart disease is a leading cause of death for both men and women. On average, it kills more than 610,000 people every year in the United States. This month, we are highlighting important information to help you stay healthy. Today, Brooke takes a much deeper dive into what exactly heart disease really is. One in four people will die because of heart disease. And listen to this. The CDC says 80% of those deaths are related to preventable factors. So joining me now to talk a little bit more about this, I have Dr. Sandy Charles here from Novant. So who's most at risk when we're talking about heart disease? Are there any specific gender, specific racial or ethnicities that are more affected? So everyone is at risk for heart disease? That's a great question. Um, for decades and decades, heart disease, or specifically coronary disease, was thought to be a man's disease. So it was frequently getting overlooked in women uh, because women present later with it, and also the, the symptoms are frequently different in women. Mm -hmm. So women had been underdiagnosed, and unfortunately, sadly, more women were dying from mm -hmm. coronary disease because the diagnosis was being missed. So though it affects both gender equally women for a long time were being diagnosed with it less and so we're we're getting impacted more by it you know what blows my mind the statistic that I was saying a minute ago 80% of this is preventable so why then do we have such a problem? Yeah, so knowledge is key. So how is it pre preventable? And it's really based on the risk factors. A lot of the risk factors for heart disease, unfortunately, are things that we do not feel and things that we do not see. And the only way they're diagnosed is if we go to our doctors and we get it checked, okay? So one of the major things is high blood pressure, also called hypertension. Mm -hmm. You can frequently feel well, but it's called a silent killer because you don't know unless you get it checked. And things that put you at risk for hypertension are salty foods. Unfortunately- No, oh, not my pickles. <laughs> not your pickles. And unfortunately, it's not just the salt we're putting in our foods. The American diet is jam-packed with uh, foods that are so high in sodium, whether it's pre-packaged, uh, preserved foods, processed foods, and all the delicious foods that we're having in restaurants mm -hmm. are jam-packed with sodium. And also, importantly, the lack of exercising. Mm -hmm. You could be doing all the right things, eating great, getting your blood pressures checked, but if you are coming home from work, you have a long drive, and you are a couch potato, mm -hmm. guess what? That is a risk for heart disease. Such great information there. Thank Dr. Thank Dr. Charles, thank you so much.